Hello, grade three. So, like we were finishing, I had to move because of the light. Uh, we were finishing this. I want you to write Tuesday, 3.17, classwork, adding ED. Okay? And remember that any word that ends in Y, okay, is going to make a duh sound, like cried. Okay? So we will go over a worksheet together. Okay? We're going to take our time doing this. So that we remember what to do when something ends in Y. When a word ends in Y and it's in past tense, okay? So when it's in the present tense and it begins, it ends with Y, like carry. What do we do to make it past tense, okay? So adding ED. And we're also adding an I. So when a word ends with the letter Y, change the Y to an I before adding ED. So here's an example for you, okay? And there's a little picture too. The box is too heavy for Bobby to carry. So this is a verb in the present tense, carry, okay? Circle it for you. Carry, right? And then in the next sentence, it's in past tense, okay? So this is, the box is too heavy for Bobby to carry. It's really in the infinitive, but the verb ends in Y is the important part. So what happened? The box is too heavy for Bobby to carry. Well, Mr. Fritz carried it into the house for Bobby. So we took the Y away. Remember, we take the Y, okay? And we go, bye-bye, bye-bye, Y. And what do we add? We add I before we add E-D, okay? So let's go through some examples. Now, remember, you have to have one through six. You must write, you must write how to spell the word. You must write how to spell the word in past tense, okay? So please... Follow along, write in your notebook, okay? So number one. Oh, whoops, don't need that sheet. So number one, okay? The baby and the verb is cry. So the baby, what all night? The baby cried all night, okay? So please write cried. Take the Y away from cry, okay, and add I-E-D. I gave you a minute to do that, a second to do that. Number two, Hannah, and then it says the verb is copy, C-O-P-Y. So, Hannah copied very good the math problem from the whiteboard hannah copied the math problem from the whiteboard c-o-p take away the y and add i-e-d okay please write that in your notebook number three okay let's see which way i can see better <laughs> number three Dad, that's the subject. Dad, who's doing it? Who's doing the verb, dad? And the verb is fry. Now, what is fry in past tense? How would you say fry in past tense? Is it fried? It's not fried. I'll tell you that. Dad fried an egg and ate it for breakfast. Okay? So, please spell fried. Remember, take away the Y, add I-E-D. Now, number four, and I'm sorry, the light, it's very hard with the light, but do your best. So, number four, the black dog, and the verb is bury, the black dog. 
the black dog buried, very good, her bone in the garden. So please spell bury. Okay. And buried. Please spell buried. Okay. Now, number five. It says, we all. Now, we is a pronoun. So that's the subject. We all. And it says study. But we need it in past tense. Because we're not going to study right now. We're going to study. We already did it, right? It happened in the past. So we all studied for our spelling test, right? So we all studied. How do you spell studied? Please write that in your notebook. We all studied for our spelling test. And you see right there, study, S-T-U-D-Y. Okay, number six is Sam. And what did Sam do? The verb is try, T-R-Y. So Sam, what's the past tense? Sam tried to fix her computer. Now Sam is a name for a boy or a girl. So here we know that Sam is a girl because it says her. So Sam, and I want you to write tried. Take away the Y, add IED. Sam tried to fix her computer. Okay, now. And Miss Liz tried to get her computer. Okay, so after, now that we're finished, please take a picture or please keep in your notebook your answers from one through six. Okay, ignore that at the bottom, one through six. Okay, your co-teachers wanna see it. They have the answers, okay, if you need them. For the next video, you will watch a video, okay? I wanna show you which one. It's a little bit difficult, okay? It's not too difficult, it's just a little bit difficult, okay? And where'd it go? Ah, here we go. Okay. One second. Yeah. So you'll see it when it opens. It looks like this. There's a mouth. Okay. You'll see a mouth. And it will explain to you again why these letters are voiceless or voiced, okay? And why they need the different sounds at the end, okay? It's a it's a little bit of a difficult video, but I want you to try your best to just listen, okay? It's okay if you do not understand. It's okay. I just want you to try, okay? So please listen to the next video and then your homework is a worksheet, all right? That's very easy to do. Okay, where well you will just, um, you will just write the past tense for the present tense verbs. Okay, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Good luck. Good job.